That was fantastic. That was so, so quick. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. Please make sure if you are not already that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, maybe even like the video. If you do subscribe, you are entered to win a free draft booster box of Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. So please do check that out. Winner will be announced on February 23rd. But let's talk about today's deck. So this is actually brought to us by the amazing Power Dragon, uh, who I will link below. Power Dragon, thank you so much for sharing this over on Aetherhub. Uh, Power Dragon, if you don't know, is a much larger and much more successful YouTube channel than we are. Uh, but he does a lot of his own deck builds and things like that. It's actually really, really cool. So please go check him out. Uh, and let's talk about what he has put together here. So this is Mono Red Aggro, which is funny because we actually, out of all of the decks we have played in this standard season I don't think we have played mono red uh, which is kind of ridiculous but we've got plenty of really good options in this list so this does have at the very top end I'm gonna go top down I think we've got Moonveil Regent so whenever you cast a spell you can discard your hand if you do draw a card for each spell uh, of each of that spells colors which is very cool uh, but when it dies it deals X damage to any target where X is the number of colors among permanents you control obviously that's only ever gonna be one but that is still a really nice four mana flyer that's gonna hopefully get in for a little bit of extra damage if need be uh, we do have things like Bloodthirsty Adversary, which you'll notice a little bit of a sub-theme here. Uh, there is a lot of instants and sorceries in this list, and by that I mean Frostbite, Play With Fire, Shock, Spike Field Hazard, uh, Reckless Impulse, Royal Eruption, all kinds of really good instants and sorceries that are not only going to be able to be replayed with the Bloodthirsty Adversary, but hopefully going to untap things like the Thermal Alchemist, which will hopefully ping the opponent as we go through. So the idea is kind of get a lot of damage over time with this. Uh, Flame Channeler, when, when a spell you control deals damage, transform it, uh, and then on the reverse side, when a spell you control deals damage, put a flame counter on it. You can pay one and remove a flame counter, exile the top card of your deck, you can play it this turn. So this is going to be a way to hopefully draw some extra cards, quote unquote, and hopefully uh, kind of finish out the game with it. Uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this is going to deal one damage to the opponent, the, the uh, Kessig Flame Breather, kind of playing the part of the old school Gutter Snipe, but not quite as good, I would imagine. Uh, uh, but very cool to see that there uh, of course we've got all the burn spells and things like that reckless impulse to draw some extra cards essentially and then that thermo alchemist like i said to ping the opponent our last creature here is falcon wrath pit fighter it's a two one for one you can discard a card pay two, sacrifice it to draw two cards only activate this if an opponent lost life this turn well i mean you see the deck i think it's going to be very easy to make the opponent lose a couple points of life so uh, that's a great way to refill the hand if this gets outpowered uh, in the land slot here, we do have Faceless Haven as a two of, and then of course Den of the Bugbear is a three of with the snow covered mountains leading the pack here. But overall, I think this is going to be a really sick deck. I'm stoked to try this out. I, like I said, haven't played Mono Red yet, so it's kind of fun to try this. And again, Power Dragon, thank you so much for sharing. Please go check Power Dragon out. Again, link that channel down below. But let's jump into game one right now. All right, guys, here we are for game number one, and this is a very easy keep. I mean, we've got a nice one into two with some burn left up for us. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. I like it a lot. You can even transform that channeler very quickly with the uh, play with fire, which is quite nice. Uh, ooh, even better. I really like Thermo Alchemist. Uh, I think we still want to play the channeler out. Uh, well, both of these are really good options. I don't know. We'll see. A uh, little worried about what the opponent might have here. Um, they very easily could have Doom Scars, things like that. We could throw this out now. Um, let's go ahead and get an attack in first. Let's play correctly. Uh, uh, let's throw this out. Let's go Thermo Alchemist. May not be the right play. I don't know. The, both of these two drops play a kind of a similar role in that uh, this one is here to deal damage, I guess, though, and this one's here to draw cards, so maybe not. But uh, would like to get the Flame Channeler out at some point. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully they don't foretell a card. All right, they didn't. That's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
So I think the play is definitely going to be to shock that. Um, with that in mind, though, let's activate this ability first. Let's try and shock this now. Perfect. Uh, and I think we'll just play this out. Um, we'll go ahead and attack in here, get two damage in, and then pass the turn. So we can activate this off of the uh, channel or the alchemist, which is kind of nice uh, to flip that at any time. So, okay. That's fine. We can deal with that again. Hopefully they don't have anything else. Oh, they gain life. Ugh, that's fine. We can actually double up on that if we'd like. Uh, let's go ahead, activate the alchemist. That's going to ping him for one. Oh, there's frostbite. Well, that alone actually solves this problem. Uh, let's deal with that. Uh, let's go ahead, activate this ability. Ping him for one. Deal three to that. That's going to transform this. Uh, in which case we can attack here. Uh, do we just go ahead and scry? I suppose so. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's tap this, ping him for one. I'm going to throw that on the bottom. We really don't need it. Uh, that's going to put a counter here. Uh, do we want to... Hmm. I guess we wait. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we've got him down to seven very, very quickly here. Uh, that's another thing we can kill, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and activate this. Ping him for one. Hit him with that. That puts another counter here. Uh, this is a very good card for this list. I really like this. Embodiment of Flame. Very cool. It just provides you with a lot of extra card draw. Ooh. Okay, don't love that. Uh, let's activate this. They don't have a land, though, which is very crucial. And there we go. We just got the win. Wow. That was fantastic. That was so, so quick. All right. Fantastic. Power Dragon. This deck is sick. Let's jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And this, again, is a very easy keep. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this one. Uh, I really like this. That was a super efficient game one. So let's see if we can make that happen again. Uh, same start as last time. We've got the Falcon Wrath Pit Fighter. We can drop that Thermo Alchemist if we'd like. Chances are they're going to have some kill spells here. Um, OK, that's fine. Let's go ahead and drop this. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and attack in. If they want to block this, that's fine. Uh, yeah. I'm cool with that. They're obviously just going to throw a treasure token down. That's cool. And then we'll drop that Thermo Alchemist now. That may not have been the 100% the correct play, but I figure we might as well go ahead and trade off. Alright, they're going to murder. That's fine. Uh, next turn, we actually get to double up on some stuff, which is kind of cool. So let's do this. Let's do this. Kind of holding on to the channeler until we know they're kind of out of removal. This is one of those cards that I'd like to hold up uh, because this refills our hand, which is something we don't get to do very often. Um, all right. So first things first, let's get some damage in. Let's play you. And let's play you. We're just going to double up as best we can here. Hope for the best. Uh, we haven't really drawn very many instants or sorceries. A lot of what we've got, I, I mean, have been creatures at this point, which is kind of nice because they've burned a couple of their murders here. There's the Meat Hook Massacre. We're going to get those two out of there, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. I um, think we're going to struggle against this deck, uh, but it's kind of OK. We'll throw out that Flame Channeler. Now that we've got an extra one, we'll end the turn. This does get a ping in, which is kind of nice. But I assume this is just going to be a rough matchup for us. Anything where they've got Meat Hook Massacres, which unfortunately is a lot of the meta right now, is going to be a problem. Uh, as we expect. Like, that's not a surprise to anything. Um, okay. Got another land. They may just level this up. Oh no, they foretell a card. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's see. So we can just drop this and deal some damage that way. Uh, alternatively, we can 
hit them for three, which would transform this. I think I kind of like that play better. Uh, I want to save that adversary, I think, for later in the game. That's going to transform this, which is kind of nice. Uh, we're going to deal three here. And we pass the turn. Again, this is a very capable deck when it comes to dealing a lot of damage in a very short amount of time. Uh, but this is also just such a removal heavy deck, it's always going to be a problem for us. So got to manage as best we can and hope for the best. All right, scried both to the top. That's frustrating. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Put one card on the top. OK, so they were looking for lands and they found it. Uh, that's fair enough. Man, we are just not drawing what we need to draw here, I think. Uh, burn spells would really be what we need at this point, and we're just not getting them. Um, instead, we're really flooding out with creatures, uh, which is fine. I mean, creatures are very good, don't get me wrong, but against a removal deck like this, uh, it's always going to be a bit of a problem. Um... Okay. Go ahead and ping him. Uh, yeah. We can't even kick this or uh, pay the actual cost on this. That's kind of a problem. Do we just go for it? That's going to deal five in total. So two, four, five. Yeah, I think we go for it since we've got an extra one in hand anyway. Um, we just kind of have to deal as much as we can. I have a feeling this upcoming turn is going to be a pretty devastating one, though. Um, another Mead Hook Massacre just annihilates us. There's blood on the snow. And a Pingham. Yep. They get a Shambling Gas back. Uh, but we lose a bunch of life in that process. Ugh. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot we can do. I'm going to throw out the Flame Channeler here. If we get another land, then the bugbear can start attacking. Uh, wow. Okay. This is like the worst matchup for us. <laughs> uh, there's no way around it. This is just absolutely terrible for us. So there's really not a way we can. I, I don't think we can win this. All right, let's throw this out. I'm going to activate this. And we're going to attack in. Not, mu not much else we can do, really. Uh, I think that's just the best play we've got. But these stack up so well against us. That is crazy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can we win this turn? Chances are no. Uh, we can do this. Frostbite this. We lose a life in that process, though. Yeah. We're pretty dead here, guys, sadly. Uh, it's all good, though. We'll we'll uh, attack in, and they win. So they get to kill something here with this, which I assume is just going to be the adversary. We lose a life. Oh, they didn't. They just created a treasure token. Well, we lose this turn. The dog's pursuit kills us. That was the roughest matchup. I think we could have possibly had, but it's fine. Let's move on to a game three. All right, guys, here we are for our third game, most likely our final game. These are gonna go pretty quickly. It's mono red. So uh, do we like this hand? This is a bit of an odd one, uh, but I'm gonna try it. This isn't as, I mean, we've got the shock off the, off the face of it. We've also now got play with fire, which is kind of nice. We'll see how this goes. Not sold on this hand. This may be a very bad keep, but uh, I think we give it a shot. There's another Den of the Bugbear. Um, I guess we go ahead and play it out. And I'm actually just going to Adversary. We're going to get an attack in for two here. Go ahead and push some damage in. Uh, curious to see what the opponent's got here. It might very well be like a Werewolf deck. Yeah. All right. Very good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so uh, first things first, we are going to attack. And I think we just pass. This is going to be a bit of an annoying card for us uh, because it does transform here, but we can double up and kill it. 
Maybe that's the right play. I don't know. I, I'm curious to see what they play here this turn. Oh, perfect. Okay, this is actually very good for us. So we kind of get to uh, get them here because they lose this. That was fantastic. Honestly, that couldn't have gone any better. All right, let's uh, attack in here. We burned a spell from their hand, which is good. We'll go ahead and play the Moonveil Regent. That's just a big, scary dragon, so I'm super into this. Uh, next turn, we can Adversary f and then use its ability for one if we need to. Alternatively, we can Reckless Impulse. Uh, you may discard your hand if you do draw a card for each of that spell's colors. That's interesting. Okay. Um, we might... Well, I don't really want to do that. That's the trick. It does get us... I don't want to lose the adversary is the thing. So we'll see what happens here. <coughs> okay. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to decline. We're going to auto pay. We'll hit the shock, which we now just get to play for free. So we'll do this. I'm going to decline once again. I don't really want to lose either of these cards. So uh, and then now we just get to attack in for a lot. That seems really good. I really like that. Uh, OK, cool. They're down to six. We've got three points of damage just in hand here. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of this. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, we did it. That was super, super quick. Wow. Uh, all right, let's talk about this. All right, guys. So again, we knew this was going to be a bit of a shorter uh, video solely because it is mono red. So obviously it's going to go pretty quickly. But Power Dragon, man, what a deck. Uh, thank you again for sharing, my friend. I know you threw this up over on Aether Hub, and it really means a lot that you shared this with the community. Please go check out him and his channel and his video on this because it really is cool. Um, this was awesome. I think game two, we had a really terrible matchup. I think the meta right now is a little tricky for this list because it is pretty reliant on some of the creatures to really gain some capital value off of the, uh, the burn spells that you're playing. You can certainly win just off of those, but I think it's not as likely. Uh, and so I think because of that, you're facing down a lot of Meat Hook Massacres, a lot of Doom Scars, a lot of things that really are going to put you in a rough position. However, uh, against any of the like mono green lists, anything that's fighting stuff off, you do stand at least a chance because if you can get rid of, as we saw, the creature that they're trying to fight things off with, you can make some stuff happen. And because you've got so many burn spells that are cheap, uh, it's kind of easy to get rid of those things. Now, you do, of course, have to survive long enough, and that's kind of the trick, but uh, I think this deck is actually pretty cool. I don't think it's perfect for the meta, but I do think it's a really fun one. So, again, Power Dragon, thank you so much. Thank you to all of you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe if you are not already, comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, but I love you all very much. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you again very soon for some more gameplay videos.